Question 10. The diagram, here's a diagram, shows a garden in the shape of a rectangle. You've got, instead of two lengths, you've got 4 plus 3x. And you've got x plus 6. All measurements are in metres. The perimeter of the garden is 32 metres. Work out the value of x. Now remember, perimeter, what does that mean? That means all the way around. How long is that? Same as that. 4 plus 3x. How long is that? Same as that. x plus 6. So, in total, we know the perimeter is 32 metres, but we need to find out what x is. So what is the same as 32 metres? Well, the perimeter is 32, which means that plus that plus that plus that is 32. So, 4 plus 3x plus 4 plus 3x plus x plus 6 plus x plus 6 is also 32 metres. So I'll write that in. 4 plus 3x plus 4 plus 3x plus x plus 6 plus x plus 6. And that is equal to 32. So what I'm going to do, I'm going to gather all the like terms together, all the x's and all the numbers, and then solve the equation that we get. Be careful, it's easy to make a mistake here. Let's look at the x's first. You've got 3x, another 3x, that's 6x, plus another x, plus another x, that's 8x. The numbers that are on their own, you've got, well, you could look at this if you want, 4 plus 4 plus 6 plus 6, which is 20. So 8x plus 20 is equal to 32. We've solved that equation, we will find out what x is. So you've got 8x plus 20 equals 32. You want to get x on its own, remember. So first, what we're going to do is we're going to take that 20 away. It's a plus 20, so to get rid of it, we take away 20. That leaves us with 8x. And on this side, 32 take away 20 is 12. <clears throat> 8x is equal to 12. So now you've got to divide both sides by 8. And you might be thinking, oh no, I don't want to do 12 divided by 8, but don't worry about it. So 8x divided by 8 is just x. 12 divided by 8 is 12 over 8. Remember, that's just a top-heavy fraction. Turn that into a normal number if you want. A mixed number. How many 8s go into 12? 1. What's left over? 4. 4 eighths. What is 4 eighths? It is a half. So 1 and a half. Or 1.5. Whatever you want to put. Now, you could do that in your head easily. How many eights go into 12? 1. And then 4 left over, which you know is half of 8. So you should be able to work it out as 1 and a half. Also, you could try using the bus stop method if you want. But anyway, there are our answers there.